ceremony for this. The Urban and Rural Development Ministry decided to embark on the usage of an electronic system in light of the ever-expanding urban area population and not enough service to land, leading to dubious land sales, land grabbing and illegal squatting. The local authorities till now also do not have a central electronic data capturing system for information on earth allocations, zoning of residential areas, as well as creation of new townships. With the implementation of urban land information system, each town council or municipality will be able to collect and store information of applicants and process applications. Urban and Rural Development Minister Sofia Shaningwa says the centralized data management platform will restore public confidence in the ministry service delivery plan. It is an integrated solution that is extensible to fit any of our needs. It provides a centralized data management platform. It is a very secure system with different levels of access. It provides a link to all key stakeholders and this system allows us to provide improved service delivery and better citizen engagement. Citizens wanting to do submissions for land or objections to the sale of an earth by local authority or individual can also do so under that local authority's portal. Designers of the system Technobrain says in addition to using the interactive online system, citizens can still follow up at the offices. So any individual from the public can come to the municipality, fill in the exact same forms, and then the people in the different municipality will then enter the information into the system and if they have a cell phone, they will then be given notification and the entire process is then take place from there. So far, only 10 local authorities have received training on the usage of the system during the piloting phase. But the ministry says the $42 million investment into this system should not just go down the drain by becoming one of those systems acquired by government and not active. Blanche Corres, NBC News. Ventuk.